The molar solubility of magnesium carbonate, MgCO3, is 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 4 moles per liter. Calculate the KSP of magnesium carbonate. So to answer this question, the first thing you need to do is to write the equilibrium dissociation reaction. So we have MgCO3, solid. It will dissociate into two ions. We have magnesium 2 plus, aqueous, plus carbonate, also aqueous. So if, you, if you're done writing the equilibrium dissociation reaction, you need to complete the ice table. I stable, I stands for initial concentration, C for change in concentration, and E for equilibrium concentration. So, please take note that if you're doing ice table, you only consider aqueous and gaseous species. So, you do not include solids and liquids. So, you do not consider them. So, in this case, we do not consider MgCO3 because it is a solid. So, let's focus on the right side, on the aqueous species. So, initially, of course, you have nothing. So, 0 Mg2+. Plus and zero of carbonate anion. So for change, that would be plus S for Mg2 plus and plus S for carbonate anion. For equilibrium, zero plus S, that is S for magnesium 2 plus, and for carbonate, zero plus S, that is also S. Now that you're done writing the ice table, Write the KSP expression for the salt. So remember that KSP is equal to the concentration of products raised to coefficient divided by the concentration of reactants raised to coefficient. Again, take note that we are only including aqueous and gaseous species. We do not include solids and liquids. So in our problem, our products are Mg2 plus and carbonate anion, and their coefficients are both 1. So 1 for magnesium 2 plus and 1 for carbonate anion. So products, we have Mg2 plus and then carbonate CO3 2 minus. We do not need to include our reactant because our reactant is solid. So KSP is just equal to Mg2 plus times carbonate. Then we substitute the equilibrium variables. For magnesium 2 plus, we have S. And for carbonate, we also have S. So S times S, our KSP is equal to S squared. So S here stands for solubility, and we are given the solubility in the problem, which is 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 4. So KSP is equal to 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 4. Square that. So plug the numbers into your calculator, and this is equal to about 3.50 times 10 raised to negative 8. And usually, KSP is written without unit. So the answer to this question is 3.50 times 10 raised to negative 